back with the last round of the gradient pour and swirl. So this will be just like the previous two. This is for the May challenge and doing the Oasis swirl. So this one, again, I'm doing two separate lobes. So one of them will be all the way gradient and the other one will be the um, actual Oasis one. So the first one I'm gonna do is going to be the gradient one and then see how the, the fragrance behaves and then do the actual Oasis one in the next video. So I'm going to use the same color, same fragrance. I uh, already measured everything out, divided it in half. So that's over there for the next batch. I'm going to be using Blueberry Time from Brambleberry. I used this years ago. It's supposed to be well behaved. Um, some things say it discolors to tan. Some things say, I don't remember what this one says, ivory. So this should work okay with this. I'm going to be using four different colors and that that fifth layer will be uncolored just with whatever discoloration happens with the fragrance oil. So the colors I'm using, I'm gonna be using uh, Evergreen from Brambleberry. I have a Shimmering Light Gold Mica from Crafter's Choice Wholesale Supply Plus. Two colors from Nurture Soap. One is Brandius Blue and one is Bluebell Mica. And those, those two colors are so really pretty. Have them measured out in some sweet almond oil and Let's see how this one goes. So like I said, I want to use the, this one first just to see how that fragrance behaves because sometimes things are great. Sometimes something you've used that usually is great is not. So let's go ahead and give it a go.
one. I was kind of nervous about the blue because on top it definitely looks green. And turning to the side, I have some of that nice blue in there. So thankfully that did turn out okay. And on the colors, so this color is that blue bell and this is the Brandius blue. Actually, that's a little bit better. The gold, you can see that, not as much as the white, but we have that nice color there and then the Brandius blue, the olive green, and then the, um, actually that's not olive green, that's apple moss green. So let's go ahead and cut it open. The fragrance did accelerate on me. So it was enough to get the gradient pour in, but I probably won't get the fine lines, but I won't know for sure until we cut it open. So I'm gonna do that now and we'll come back for that final look.